Jesus told parables to teach us how to live like him. Let's open with a song called, I Want to Be Like Jesus. Hi friends, here we are again and it's now time to learn about another one of Jesus' wonderful stories. When Jesus was on earth, he traveled all around the land of Jerusalem and taught people how to love one another and how to be happy. He taught them that to follow him, they should be a good example to the world. And so among the lessons that he taught them was first of all that it was wrong to be angry or hate anyone even the people that they called their enemies, the people that had been mean to them or that were hard to like. He also taught them the importance of praying and of forgiving others and of being kind. One day, Jesus was teaching his apostles and he told them to live with him in the kingdom of heaven. His disciples needed to learn all of his teachings and to live by them. And then he told them a very special kind of story what we know is a parable, which teaches us a lesson by telling a story first and then explaining how that story can be seen played out in our own lives. The story he told them for, that we're gonna look at this week is called The Parable of the Wise Man and the Foolish Man. It's a good one. Stories of the Bible, the parable of the two builders. This is Jesus. Hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. Uh, Wahoo! One day, as he saw the crowds gathering, Jesus went up to the mountainside and sat down. His disciples gathered around him and he began to teach them. He asked them, why do you keep calling me Lord, Lord, when you don't do what I say? 
Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise. Hey, I'm gonna build here. Yeah, I'm gonna build out there. All right, suit yourself. Like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Oh, yeah. When the flood waters rise and break against that house, it stands firm because it was well built. I'll get it here. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish. All right, hey, it's nice. Like a person who builds a house on sand. Uh oh. When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching. Jesus told them about a wise or very smart man who built his house upon a strong rock. Think about a rock. What does it feel like? It's very strong and sturdy. Jesus is like that rock. And then there was a big storm. There was wind and the rain and the floods, but the house built on the rock was okay because it was built on something so strong. When we have Jesus in our life, it's like we're standing on a rock. He will not let us fall. If we rely on him, he will hold us up. Then Jesus told them about a foolish or not very smart man who also built a house, but he built his house on sand. What is sand like? It's squishy and it moves when you touch it and when you walk on it. And then there was a big storm. There was wind and rain and floods and the house built on the sand washed away with the water because it was built on something not strong. The world is like sand. When we build our lives on whatever we want and not Jesus, it's like standing on the sand. When life is hard and our foundation is squishy, we fall down. Without Jesus, we fall down. The foolish man's house fell down when the storm came. Before we talk about what Jesus was trying to teach us, let's sing the song of the wise man and the foolish man. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. And the rains came a tumbling down. What was Jesus trying to teach us through this parable? He started the story by saying, everyone who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. 
Jesus is saying that the wise man is the one who listens to Jesus' words and obeys them. The Bible tells us that God is the source of all our wisdom and that hearing and doing what he says is the path of a wise man. Foolishness is the opposite of this. A fool hates wisdom and instruction and instead chooses to disobey God. Jesus' parable encourages us to choose to be wise and build our lives on his teachings. Then Jesus explained the story to them. He said that people who choose to make choices based on the teachings of Jesus will always be safe and strong because Jesus is like the strong rock. And when our lives become difficult or we face the consequences of our good choices, we will be safe and happy. Jesus said the people who choose to make wrong choices and ignore the teachings of Jesus will not be safe. When our lives become difficult or we face consequences of our bad choices, we will not be happy. And sometimes we may suffer for our choices. We have many opportunities to learn the gospel of Jesus Christ. We can show that we have faith that the gospel is true by choosing the right each day. If we do, we're gonna be like the wise man, building our lives on the solid foundation of the gospel and preparing ourselves to live again with the heavenly father and Jesus Christ. When Jesus taught this lesson, many people were amazed because they knew that he had the authority of God to teach them. They understood that Jesus was right and they needed to believe in him and trust him. What about you? Do you want to build your life upon the rock of Jesus or on the sand? That's right. We need to build our lives on Jesus and nothing else. We build our lives on Jesus by believing in him. If we believe in Jesus, we will want to know more about him. We can learn more about him by reading the Bible and going to church. When we build our lives on Jesus, we gain wisdom. What does it mean to have wisdom? Wisdom is doing what's right in the sight of the Lord. We get wisdom when we learn more about Jesus. Having wisdom helps us to build our lives on the rock, just like Jesus wants us to. In Matthew 7, Jesus teaches us that true wisdom comes from trusting in him and his word. If we build our lives on the basis of God's truths, then we will be able to persevere when the storms of life come. If our foundation is built on our own desires and wisdom, we will fail when we are tested. Jesus is the only worthy foundation. Let's sing a song about trusting God's promises.
I'm sure that most of you use books like these every day in your schoolwork. Let's imagine for a minute if you could read all of the books that you have on your desk and in your room and in your house and remember everything that was in them. You would really have a lot of knowledge, wouldn't you? But that doesn't necessarily mean that you would be wise. Do you know the difference between knowledge and wisdom? Well, if you have knowledge, it means you've got it up here. You've got the facts in your brain. But if we have wisdom, it means that we know how to put all of that knowledge that we have to practice in order to live good and kind lives. Some people know a whole lot about Jesus and they put his teachings into practice in their daily life. Jesus said that those people are wise. He said they're like the wise man who built his house on the rock. But then there are other people who know a lot about Jesus and his teachings, but they don't really do anything about it. It doesn't change the way they live or how they practice kindness and forgiveness with other people. Jesus said those people are actually foolish. So it's important if you have the knowledge to share that with other people by being kind and caring for them. That's what makes you wise. Let's pray together. Loving God, we give you thanks for all the teachings of Jesus and for the way he helps us to be wise at uh, home with our families, with our friends, and out in the world. Help us all to care for one another and to follow Jesus. Amen. Have a good week. I'll see you next time.